Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Um, I'm feeling a bit nostalgic. I just wanted to share some of my stories. And I've sort of shared why I became a collector and how I started collecting, but I just wanted to talk about my favorite period of collecting because collecting is not as fun anymore. Once upon a time, before the internet, before eBay specifically, um, <clears throat> and online shopping, you used to have a lot of collectible stores, a lot of collectible stores, and they were very specialty and very um, targeted, a lot of them. And they were great. Um, when I grew up in Tasmania, there was nothing. We had the local toy store, and that was it. We had the variety section of, you know, the local Rolfos, Safeway, Woolworths, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then a couple of sort of cheap sort of toy stores, like $2 shops later on. But that was it. When I moved to Melbourne, well, actually, when I went to Launceston, there was one collectible store called Launceston Collectibles, I think it was called. Launceston Comics, that's it. Um... I did get my first couple of um, Star Trek magazines and things there. But they didn't have a lot of things and I couldn't go there often. I didn't have any money. So, but when I left home and I was on full estate and had my own income and um, you know, my own budget basically that I could manage for the first time because um, I wasn't living at home and I had more money and I didn't have adult supervision, I just spent all my money on toys. <laughs> basically, I paid my bills, bought my food and then on the weekend went to, went, just went around all the collectible stores to see what I could find, you know, because I had spent a lot of time collecting all my friends' toys when I was a kid, and I had a lot of the, a lot of the Transformers and a lot of the um, Thundercats and He-Man and Star Trek figures that I wanted, but um, there's still a lot I didn't, and each week you just go out and look for what you wanted, and it was a hunt. Every, you know, it was, it was just an adventure. It was like, always like, what am I going to find? It's like, you know, um, almost a little archaeological dig every time you go into some of these stores. Some of them are very, very expensive and everything's all, you know, spaced out properly and has their own section. Other times it's all thrown in together and you just have to search through boxes of stuff. And um, that was the fun of it, though. I mean, online is interesting, too. Like, during the you-know-what, I went online because I couldn't go out anymore. So I got over my fear of wasting money on um, postage and... <laughs> Just started collecting all the things that I had never been able to find in the local stores. And I just went through this big old list and managed to find 95% of the things I ever wanted and just bought them all. Um, it was great. But um, before that, because that, that was nice too, just sort of waiting, having things come in, um, even though there's a lot of postage issues and you're scared about every package until you actually have it in your hand and a lot of dramas I had to sort out. But um, so that had its own sort of, you know, real ride and roller coaster ride but um collecting collectibles from actual collectible stores that used to exist once upon a time was a lot of fun um like i said i used to do it every weekend and then they'd have collectible fairs that i mentioned they'd do these every couple of months they'd have like a town hall and everyone who kind of had a shop or didn't have a shop but had enough stuff but couldn't afford a shop would just set up a stall or share a stall with someone else and that was sort of usually how I'd catch up and get the stuff I couldn't find because I'd get stuff from people who didn't have stores and stuff from people from different areas and a few people I made connections with and I'd keep in contact with them and they'd call me when they found stuff and sometimes I'd have to travel to like Ferntree Gully or somewhere to get something, but I would. And I spent a big deal of time, a big section of my life being a collector and just going out looking for all the stuff I didn't have. But then at some point I stopped, in part because I had 90% of the stuff I wanted and I couldn't find any other stuff I wanted, and I would have had to have gone online to get it, and I kind of didn't want to break that seal because I didn't want to do the postage thing, because it's like an extra 10 20 30 50 60 dollars on top of every purchase, basically, unless you could group stuff together and get stuff from people. And I just sort of, I sort of got stuck there. I never sort of crossed that, crossed that threshold until the you-know-what forced me to do it because there was no other option. And then once that still was broken I just went crazy and got everything I wanted but um yeah collectible stores were great there was one called Just Collectibles in Paran there was another one called Classic Comics um I went used to go to them regularly in Pran. the first place I went in Melbourne after the main city and where I lived in Brunswick um was Pran to go to Just Collectibles because I'd heard there was a collectible stop, shop there which I'd heard from Minotaur which was the main sort of metropolitan sort of big collectible store but it's too big to really be a collectible store it's 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 you know it's like it's not like a little store it's like a you know like a, almost like a, it feels like a chain but it's actually not um and i knew them back i first saw them when i first came to melbourne when i was a kid they were 
all the way up the street where the village cinema used to be. I don't even know what is there now to, to, to let people know. It's on Burke Street, up Burke Street. Then they moved down to Elizabeth Street and now they've moved again. And I haven't seen them since they moved. They moved during the you-know-what. I got a few stuff from them online and they moved and I haven't been there since. So when I do eventually venture out into the new world where there's a new um, train station, they're all above the road now in my area. Everything's changed. I'll be going into the city on a different train line and going to a different Minotaur. It's going to be an adventure, but it hasn't happened yet. But um, yep, yeah. I just want to share my story of collecting in the era of collectible stores, which I miss. They do exist. There's still somewhere, you know, but they're very hard to find. They're not everywhere. They're not the norm.